Okay, so this here is the Moga Pro uh, controller, and I'm going to show you how it's paired right now. I, I actually just turned inside here onto the HID mode, and then so then I can generally play in this mode if you want to be clip mode. So I'll just swipe this out of the way. I'll start a game like Critical Wave, which is one of the first games that we've added support for. And this, uh, you know, see, you can see they've adopted the menu and everything already. So I can get into here. I'll just start off, and so basically you're playing this game, you have full tactile feedback for both. This is a dual stick shooter, and this is the easy level, it's just uh, instead of filming. And don't hit the walls. The boss is over somewhere. You can see where they are on the sides over there. So this is Critical Wave by Granny's Game. So great, great tool for, for just casual fun. There's people that were like, wait, wait, played for, for hours on this game. And then they were mad because I didn't demo the harder levels in the keynote and I explained to them that it's hard to hold it, talk to your boss and... Yeah. <laughs> and this works with, you can sort of hook the device up to the TV and use that as a Bluetooth yep. controller. Yeah, so what we'll do here is I'll just pause this and I get home, unclip this like that. And let's say that this is sitting at home here. I have a clip here. It's funny, I actually have a, another clip as well. But yeah, you could you could you could you could have this sitting here, and then I just keep playing, basically. Prop this up a little bit. Or, or just plug it into the TV. Plug it into the TV. I'd never do this. Yeah, this yeah. is not why I do this. <laughs> I, I plug this onto my TV, and off we go. And that's the same with on. the Q10 as well. Q10 as well. So same with even though. Yeah, it's the small, clip just... doesn't really work for this one. That's why you might want a controller like the Steel Series for the Q10. Yeah. And or you could just use this one in this mode for the Q10. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And you're saying like uh, with the Q10, obviously because it runs the same hardware as the, as the Z10, you basically hook it up to your TV and you've got a gaming device. That's and right. A working device. Too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 really, it's up to the developer whether or not they want to adapt even on the screen. So you can have Square. You can go into presentation mode. So you actually can use the full real estate instead of having a Square seven by 20 if that developer has already put in the assets for the or, or the, the, the code in there to handle that uh, and that's what we're trying to talk to some of the publishers to, to let them know that you can just handle that you've got presentation mode yeah. and you can actually go from a one-to-one -one up to the full 16 by 9 in a, in a nice big game mode okay cool and could you tell us a little bit about the s the api and how that works just quickly so the api the way that it works is um, i'll pause this so the way that the api works is 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 that you just handle already screen events today. So we have touch events and there's a loop and you'll actually just see some standard constants uh, for that. And now all you're gonna do, you're gonna adapt to new events for gamepad connected, disconnected, and then you can pull or handle events on whether the buttons are touched or pressed or released, and then whether or not the analogs exist off the start. And if they exist, you can actually pull the analog values X, Y, X and Y, and then Z on here. So you, you have actually full access to pretty much everything on here. We have a built-in enumeration for ABC, XYZ, L123, R1, um, all, R, R123, menu 123, and the D-pads and everything. And so you, you pretty much have access to everything, um, like everything that all the, the super set of what all the buttons that I've ever seen up there are. Okay. And we kind of planned on making that easy. So if you already had game code, you just handle to R enumeration instead of, even though this says on here, you know, one, two, three, four, and this one is X, Y, Z. We do, uh, we give them a mapping on to what it really means yep. to our enumeration to ensure that they have a, a mapping system onto what those values are. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you.